hello friends welcome to my channel if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing and if you are my old subscriber thanks for staying by and yeah today i'm gonna talk about sunscreens as you have already got from the title below so yeah without further ado let's get started with today's video I'm standing on the edge of a cliff realize there wearing sunscreen is a skincare 101 so if you come across any video over youtube you could see each and every youtuber including me recommending sunscreen the usage of sunscreen in our daily lives and if you visit a skin doctor the first thing he or she will recommend you is a sunscreen so yeah we all know that sunscreens are the most widely raved about products in the beauty industry and it is used to ward off uva and uvb rays now yeah let's get a bit detailed uva rays actually causes wrinkles then aging and all uvb rays causes superficial damage to your skin like darkening of the skin and all those so if you are choosing your sunscreen you have to better choose a broad spectrum sunscreen broad spectrum sunscreen means it protects you from both uva and uvb rays now personally speaking i have been using sunscreen for more than 15 years now like i have been using sunscreen since childhood and there has been a recent news stating that the chemicals in the sunscreen sips into your bloodstream which causes more harm so that is why i am doing this video in the first place so now I have a few sunscreens with me. I had the privilege of using all the sunscreen physically on my face. So I thought of like giving a brief overview of all the sunscreens and I have done individual reviews of each of the sunscreens already on my channel. So if you are interested you could definitely browse through my channel. According to the recent news the physical sunscreens that is zinc oxide and titanium dioxide these two chemicals are actually safe for your skin and it doesn't seep into your bloodstream. So the chemical sunscreen contains uh, the oxybenzone then there are some other chemicals such as octocrylene and oxybenzone and avibenzone. These actually absorb the sun's rays and inactivate them but it goes into your bloodstream according to the report though it is not 100% like verified or justified. But yeah let me get into the overview of all the sunscreen which I have personally with me and I will let you know like which is the safest of all. First and foremost sunscreen which I want to talk about is the Biotech BioVera 75 plus SPF UVA and UVB sunscreen. I generally use this sunscreen on my body and not on my face. It contains like gel, aloe vera gel, margo sabar, nut grass seeds but the ingredient list whichever is given over here is not complete. It only lists around 10% of its ingredients and not the whole list so i will definitely definitely not recommend the sunscreen because we are not aware of what our chemicals are there in this sunscreen even though it claims that it is 100 percent ayurvedic recipe but yeah i do apply it onto my feet and leg areas and i am aiming to complete it soon now the second sunscreen which i have and I have seen many of you using it also is this Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunblock Sunscreen. Now this sunscreen caused me pimples. So I actually used it for a week or so and then I stopped using it. And it has been lying with me but I, yeah, I am planning to throw this off. It contains octocrylene which is actually not recommended by the FDA. So I will not ask any of you to use this sunscreen now Neutrogena has a zinc sheer dry touch sunblock cream which has zinc oxide in it I will definitely recommend the use of that one because zinc oxide is safe than octocrylene now the third sunscreen which I have is actually L'Oreal Paris UV perfect aqua essence UV protector this is a spray and this comes in a spray bottle now this has various such ingredients but neither I could see zinc oxide on it or oxy oxycrylene on it but I am for sure observing some benzene in it so benzoate and all those are equally harmful so yeah I won't recommend this also to you all and the spray it seems causes more damage than the physical cream sunscreens 
according to the report. Now the third sunscreen, sorry, the fourth one. Now the fourth sunscreen which I have the Suncro Soft Gel SPF 50 plus broad spectrum sunscreen. Now this has zinc oxide in it and alkyl benzoate but yeah zinc oxide is actually very safe for your skin and you could definitely use this sunscreen but again with this sunscreen i got some pimples on my face so i didn't use it for long you could definitely use this sunscreen this is much better than the other sunscreen which i have mentioned in this video such as neutrogena or the l'oreal one this doesn't cause much irritation to your skin and can definitely be used. This contains zinc oxide and alkyl benzoate. Now I am not sure about the alkyl benzoate but I am definitely sure that zinc oxide is safe and oxycrylin or the other benzoates which are harmful are not present in this Sun Cross soft gel. Now this is the sunscreen which I got recently. I have used this sunscreen since time immemorial like I have been using this sunscreen since my school days I know this contains like all these parabens then isothiazolones which are preservatives used in all the cosmetic products basically I am not very sure about this product aroma magic which i have been using throughout the last three or four years and it is the most most natural and the most safest sunscreen of all the sunscreens over here now this doesn't contain oxybenzone and it is clearly mentioned over here it contains zinc oxide it has all such essential oils and all such like natural ingredients which i definitely like so i have been using this sunscreen for like three years or three to four years in a row and i recently got that it actually was clogging my pores at times so that's why i have like basically stopped using this just uh, like it's been two weeks i have stopped using this sunscreen and i am seeing an improvement in my acne and pimple prone skin so i don't know if the acne or pimple prone skin people can use this but this is meant for actually all skin types but i am not sure about like oily people oily and acne prone skin now i am left out with no other sunscreen i will not be using sunscreen now on and let me see how it goes so that was the video about all the sunscreen which i have personally used and none of this is sponsored by any company so i hope this video will be useful